Hello and welcome to another video from Natasha Lee. This week we're going to be doing some newspaper nail art and not just with alcohol but also with water and mouthwash and this was requested by Rachel Kennedy. As always, after filing and performing cuticle work, I'm going to cleanse my nails with 99% isopropyl alcohol and there's a link in the top right corner of how I look after my nails and do this. Then I'm going straight in with my favourite base coat, which is this peel off base coat from Unt, and we're just going to apply it, I do it to one hand at a time, just to make it a bit easier when you're working, but apply a nice even layer, not touching the skin, and remember to cap those ends and then allow to dry. Now I'm going in with a super pale grey and this one is CND Vinyl Lux in Cityscape and we're just going to apply a nice even layer to the whole nail and then allow to dry. Once your first coat is dry, go straight in with your second coat and again apply a nice even layer and allow to dry fully before we start using our newspaper. Now the first trick for making this work is to find a decent newspaper. Now I went out and bought about six or seven and found that the one that was the best was the Times. And the best way to check is you want the print to be really crisp. And when you rub your finger on it like I have here, it blurs and smudges slightly. Then my next challenge was trying to find a page that didn't have something negative, depressing, boring, or trump related on it. And I managed to find it in the property pages. And then you're just going to cut it into squares a little bit larger than your nails. Now I am going to be using 99% isopropyl alcohol and we're just dipping the nail in and leaving it for about 10 seconds. But you will find a little bit later on I've covered some different products that you can use to actually do the same including water and mouthwash and a couple of others. Once you've had your nail in your alcohol for about 10 seconds, apply the newspaper print side onto the nail and hold it really firmly in place. Now it's important to try and not move it because it will make the text blur, but you're going to hold it really, really firmly. And once it feels like it's stuck to the nail slightly, then you're just going to apply the pressure down the sides to transfer the actual print onto the nail. This is why it's so important to make sure your nail polish is completely dry. Now I've left this filmed in real time so you can actually see how long I'm holding it against the nail so you can replicate this and get the same effect. Do remember that not every nail is going to be exactly the same and that kind of adds to the quirkiness because that's how you can tell it's not stamped and it requires a bit more effort really. Once it feels like it's stuck down over the whole nail, very carefully just peel that newspaper straight off the nail. Now, if you don't have isopropyl alcohol or rubbing alcohol or surgical spirits, you do have some other options. And here I wanted to test a few of them out to show you the difference. On the far left, we have water, and you can see it actually came out really well just using water on the nail. And then I tried out some Listerine mouthwash, which really surprised me how well it came out. And then the alcohol applied to the paper, the alcohol applied to the nail, which is my preferred choice, and I did try some alcohol hand gel, like the sanitizer gel, and that actually worked quite well, to be honest. Once you've applied your newspaper print to all of your nails, then just go in with a top coat. And this one is my favourite at the moment, and it's the HK Girl Glisten and Glow. And just float that top coat over the nail, and we want to float it so that we don't smear any of the print from underneath. You can always apply a second coat if you want a really super glossy smooth finish, but once it's dry, it's time to apply your cuticle oil and just apply this to the skin around the nails carefully and then massage in. And here's the finished look. These are so clever and I've been wanting to try them for a few years. I do want to give the map ones a go as well because they look so funky. Let me know how you get on in the comments section down below if you give it a go. And let me know if you try any of the other solutions using mouthwash, alcohol gel or water. Thank you very much for watching. If you liked this video then please give me a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more videos like this every weekend then please subscribe and you'll get a notification. If there's anything else you'd like me to cover then please leave a comment down below in the comment section because your suggestions are always welcome.